our first real glacier that's like meeting with the ocean. I don't have words. And just like that, we went from no wind to 20 knots in Prince Christiansen. We're gonna abandon this anchorage. I never thought I'd be at the foot of a glacier in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Sailing into the majestic Prinz Christiansund is a spellbinding and memorable experience. A vast channel of towering mountains, calving glaciers, and icy waters. This renowned fjord connects the Labrador Sea to the Erminger Sea. It is 500 meters at its narrowest, 200 to 300 meters deep, and stretches over 60 miles long, surrounded by mountains soaring up to 2,000 meters high. Numerous waterfalls and unnamed glaciers line the route, plunging into the icy waters and calving into icebergs with a crack like lightning and thunder. We slowly made our way through the winding fjord to our first anchorage and our first glacier. This was a decent anchorage as far as Greenland goes, nestled in some steep mud that was once the foot of this glacier. And we did experience some pretty crazy catabatic winds here at night that would keep us up. However, waking up and looking out to see a glacier nearby is quite an extraordinary experience. We could clearly see the glacial activity recently etched into the terrain here. And as you can see, it's severely retreating inland. As we hiked up to get a better view, we realized the end of this glacier was actually really far away, probably over a mile on land. One of the reasons we didn't hike to it, and the other reason being, of course, the bugs. They were here too. Being so thrilled about seeing a glacier for the first time, we felt rather deflated at the grim-looking ice river. Maybe it was the cloudy skies, the dirty ice, or seeing how far it had receded. Whatever it was, we left on a sad note that would soon be washed away by the rest of the wondrous sights and adventures of Prince Christiansen. Good morning. Today, we are picking up anchor, and we're gonna keep heading uh, out of Prince Christensen, keep heading east. So we're just in the kind of beginning of the fjord where we saw our very first glacier. This guy way out here. That was just absolutely beautiful to see. Uh, so today we're gonna head about uh, like 15 miles uh, further east that way. And we should cross, I think another glacier that dumps into the water. I think two of them actually. And then, uh, then there's a small anchorage uh, spot I think we can stop again. So now we pick up the anchor. In what looks like should be really shallow water, this is low tide and like only a few boat lengths away is, is the shore. Uh, but we're in like, uh, like 12 meters of water right here. So like 45 feet or so of water. So it's uh, I guess a pretty, steep ledge right in this area so made anchoring a little tricky but 
we we survived. We just anchored in the shallow, or we threw our anchor in the shallow part and uh, hope for the best. Last night there was uh, some catabatic winds that were pretty strong that had me staying up kind of late, just making sure everything was okay and that we weren't dragging. Most of the time, I think the seaweed just really holds you. <laughs> so I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, I was passed out. Curious to see how clean it is. Oh my gosh. What? What? No. What is this place? Oh, okay, there's stuff on it. It's just. So it looks like a bunch of mud, just a little bit of grass, and some weird, I call it lasagna seaweed that has holes in it, so it's a little different. Anyway, not bad, not bad at all. And that concludes our anchoring in uh, Greenland for today. And as we're leaving our first anchorage in Prince Christiansen, there is actually a lot more ice than when we first got here. It's a bunch of like little bergy bits. Curious if it's coming from the glacier nearby or just another iceberg that must have been breaking apart. But there's a ton. view of our first glacier that is dumping ice into the fjord. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Incredible sight here in Prince Christensen. Sometimes there are these massive cracks that the glacier must be making and it reverberates uh, throughout the mountains. by some ice flow and it is it feels spectacular to be around this beautiful creation wow man to be up close to this thing is truly Remarkable. I can't get enough of how beautiful it is. As we would soon find out, conditions in this fjord are unpredictable. 
and quickly surrounded by ice here, it was time to move on. Rocco was kind of bashing since the wind picked up and the waves, so we're gonna bring him in, or not bring him in, but pull him up, hoist him up. What's that? Okay. our way through Prince Christian Sound. We're about in the middle and it's getting a little more ice around. So we're just slowing down and kind of slowly picking our way through all these little bits here. What do you think about all this ice that we're navigating around? Well, it's a, a little un uneasy feeling, but it's also really cool to be able to dodge like bits of ice in the water. It's kind of cool. Hell yeah. Like over here, we're kind of going through a pretty decent field. There has been a ton of birdie bits everywhere, and sometimes you can't even see them until you're right on top of them. There's like these clear, boulder looking ones, <laughs> and you're like, oh, because it's also choppy and it's harder to see the ice, especially clear ice. Yeah, these ones here are the hard ones to see. They have no bubbles in them. Very old ice. Look at that, just above the surface. You have to be really diligent. You have to try to read the waves, uh, see if they're splashing a little differently, or you have someone out, like I have Darren right now, I actually sent him out there to get a photo, but instead I just think he should stay out there on lookout for these smaller ones uh, that can actually cause a little bit of damage if we hit them at a little higher speed. So I brought the, the RPMs down and I think we're good now, but man, there's a ton of ice. Right, this is our anchorage we're going to just navigating through this little uh, patches of bergy bits. And we're expecting to come around this corner to see uh, hopefully a big, big glacier. So now we're just trying to navigate through these little bits of ice to get up to our anchorage a little protected area. All right, we just made our way into the anchorage. Uh, it is windy as heck. It's like blowing 15 to 25 knots, like really big gusts. Uh, but we're able to kind of come up in here and we're sharing the space with some ice. So we have concerns about that but we'll have to uh, just kind of watch and manage. He's grounded and there's some little bits. Those are fine. We dropped the anchor in about 15 meters of water and then let out a ton of chain, like 50 meters, plus, uh, plus a little bit of snubber line, like another five meters of snubber. So the depth right now below the keel is like six. 
and then I think that's pretty good. But yeah, you can see the wind almost through the uh, the pass that we came through. We had gusts into the 30 knots just, just coming across here. And it's nice, we have a bit of protection from this mountainside. But watching this berg here, I feel like it's coming at us. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have to watch that. Open the anchor locker in case we gotta do that. Get a fender out. Just... We just anchor? Okay, well, we're gonna pull up anchor. That bird's drifting close to us. All right, motoring forward. Yeah. This guy is just coming right next to us here. A little too close for comfort. A lot of extra challenges up here. Berg just is drifting by now. Yeah, I'm glad we picked up anchor. Okay. Okay, crisis averted. We got the anchor up. Uh, had some issue. The circuit breaker kept tripping because uh, we only had a lot of is deep, and we had a lot of wave action. Uh, luckily, not a lot of kelp on it, so it came up really clean. But we've decided we're gonna abandon this anchorage, unfortunately. It's, it's a bummer because like seeing this glacier here is just beautiful. And we wanna be anchored kinda close to then use the dinghy and, and go explore it. This is one of the biggest ones we've seen. But it's just not safe enough for, for Panda Boat. Um, how f with this wind, the these bergs are moving in really fast. Uh, I mean, r relatively fast. We would have to keep anchor watch almost like every hour. We think that that berg could move from this per from the bay into this protected anchorage in maybe an hour, hour and a half, and be right on the boat that quickly. So it's just uh, just not worth it, unfortunately. So. We're gonna keep motoring east, and there's another anchorage just south of here that we'll check out. We'll see, otherwise we're just gonna have to keep going tonight and go uh, almost to the end of the fjord where there's a, a, a few protected spots, so. Yeah, bummer, but this glacier looks epic. I'm glad we got some shots of it. All right, so now we're just gonna navigate around this point and head east. this ice field and then trying for an anchorage across the way and that didn't work out. It was definitely the right decision to not stay anchored there with that wind and all the ice coming. So I'm super disappointed. Cannot pretend not to be. I really wanted that anchorage to work out but it was just really dangerous for us to be in there. It was the glacier was huge. And I really wanted to get closer and see it. At least we had the sun to be able to see a lot of it um, from a distance, a safe distance. <laughs> but there's just so much ice and the wind was nuts. It was a safe thing to do, but now I'm just very disappointed not wanting to rush this place. And now it feels like we're doing exactly that. So now we motor on, we have another uh, probably about three hours. They'll bring us anchoring around 7 p.m. or so. So, uh, yeah, wow, it'll be a, a long day. <laughs> All right, so for today's lunch, uh, I'm gonna make uh, some ramen noodles. And that's 
that's our ramen. So we're sitting here watching, or sorry, eating with a delicious ramen. How do you like your ramen? It's so good. <laughs> it's perfect. It warms your whole body up. Yeah, it really does. And then I'm like, oh, look what's going by. It's like a, just like another glacier as we're motoring by. Yeah. No, no big deal. There's glaciers, ice in the water. <laughs> 